Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are taking a look at the Transformers. Uh, I think this was, yeah, uh, the Transformers Siege 3-pack Rainmakers. And uh, first of all, can I just say my eyes are currently burning. You guys should be fine. The, the camera is dull enough um, that uh, that it will not blind you. However, with the lights that I currently have, um, yeah, my eyes are blinded. <laughs> they are very neon. Um, and as you can see, they are all basically just the what we all know as the Seeker Mold from Siege, done up in very nice, bright as shit colors. And to help tone down said colors, thank you Hasbro, is the really, <laughs> is the standard battle damage, which they basically just copied and pasted on all three of these. Um, which is actually kind of funny. I never noticed until I, um, until I actually took a look. Yeah, no, it's literally just the same paint on all of them. Even on, like, like regular Starscream, I think it's the same paint. Sorry, Nova Storm. Yeah, it's the same paint. Paint style. Wow. They just, they, they saw the secret mode. They were like, this is the paint chipping that we're going to have. Bada bing, bada boom. So, yeah, these are the Rainmakers from the... I cannot remember the name of the episode from G1. But these were the brightly multicolored guys that Shockwave sent out to stop. I think it was Bumblebee and uh, Bumblebee and Spike from reaching Cybertron for some odd reason. Uh, that scene, <laughs> and they got the name obviously from, uh, I think it was... Um, Shockwave saying, get my Rainmakers, or something to that effect, but yeah, no, so we got uh, Acid Storm here in the uh, brightest shit green, uh, Nova Storm in this very nice yellow, and um, Ion Storm in blue, and actually we're gonna, we'll take a look at these guys essentially kind of individually but we're also going to take a look at them in bulk in terms of all the articulation being the same so we'll take a look at nova storm right now and as you can see he is done in yellow plastic as well as having some very nice gray and silver going throughout the figure which is very nice i think even some brown actually with the uh with the war paint going on here so yeah so, for articulation, head is on a ball joint. He can look up that far. Can't really look down, but you get a full 360 thanks to it being on a ball joint. Arms can go all the way out, so you can get him to do a suck at Magnus. You also get a full 360 degree move here at the shoulder, and you also get a wee bit of a bicep curl. Or, uh, would this be tricep? I'm not sure. But you get you can get the uh, the arms to move forward, which is nice. Uh, you get a full 360 uh, bend here at the upper arm, and you get a very nice double bend here at the elbow, which is awesome. You can also move around the null rays as well, which is cool. You get a wrist ro wrist rotation and also wrist rotation. I called this a wrist, didn't I? Waste rotation is what I meant. Sorry, I'm having trouble with words today, apparently. And you get uh, about 90 degrees here at the thigh. And about there at the, sorry, at the hip. Full splits here at the hip as well. And you also get thigh rotation, which is nice. Above 90 degree bend here at the knee. Oop, I hit the camera again, sorry. And you get some very nice ankle articulation, and it can also rock backwards as well. Just a wee bit, like so. And it can go side to side as, as you do. And then you also get some very nice wing flappy flappy. So yeah. 
So that is uh, <laughs> Nova Storm. Yeah, he is essentially just Siege Starscream in yellow paint. I like him. Ironically, he's not the brightest out of them all. You'd think with the name Nova Storm, you'd be uh you'd be the brightest out of the bunch, and they are definitely trying. My eyes are currently burning through my sockets. However, he's not the brightest. I don't think that terms it. <laughs> he's not. Uh, I think. If I remember correctly, isn't Nova Storm the uh, the leader of uh, of the Rainmakers, or is there a leader? I cannot remember for the life of me, but we'll just say that he is the leader because the, he's the one who I have up front, and I'm pretty sure he was the one up front in the middle of the packaging. But yeah, so he is a really awesome figure. Um, I very much enjoy this guy. So we'll take him off. We'll put in... Acid Storm, the most well-known of the trio, thanks to him actually getting a uh, release back when the uh, generation, the original Generations line was coming out back in the early 2000s. And it's the same kind of articulation in um, as all the other guys, so won't go too much into it there. But I, <laughs> my favorite color is green. Um, so I very much like this guy. However, I'm not sure if it's coming, um, actually it's coming out quite well on camera. Um, he's kind of minty. He's, he's very minty fresh. <laughs> so, uh, huh. That could be a catchphrase. He'll burn away everything with, uh, with the acid rain that he, um, that he expels. But he leaves a nice minty fresh flavor to him. Ironically, he's also going <laughs> One of the main colors for the Irish flag. As a... Uh, yeah. And I, I... Like I said before, I like all like all these Siege Seekers. So these... Like, having three of them and, like... I know there's more than these three because I have Star Siege Starscream. I have, um... You know, the, uh... The Shattered Glass Starscream. All of them are the, uh... The Tetrajet modes. Um... You know, I, I very much love these guys. So that's it for Acid Storm. And he is definitely really good. And here we have Ion Storm, the very nice blue guy. Because there's always a blue guy when it comes to these, um, these Transformers or uh, the Seekers. Because you have... Uh, Thundercracker in uh for the uh, the main seekers and then you have Ion Storm here for the uh for the blue or for the uh the rainmakers. I called him Acid Storm, didn't I? <laughs> Ion Storm, sorry. But yeah, as you can see, he's a very nice blue, uh actually. Uh, I think with Thundercracker the Thundercracker um figure he was like the the blue that they used was Maybe an ultra blue. This one's more of a, a a royal blue, which is actually very nice. Um, it helps differentiate the two actually very well. Yeah, there he is. Not a whole lot of color on these guys, aside from the orange here for the uh, the faux cockpit chest. And I think it like really works with um with uh, Ion Storm here. I'm bringing in the other the other two. It kind of gets washed out with um nova storm here and it just barely qualifies with acid storm actually something i just noticed these guys they're all frowning they, they all have like a frowny face going on and i'm gonna but like as you can see there he is he's literally just, he's a frowny boy Ims is a very, very frowny boy. He, he's upset. He's very upset. And unfortunately, the uh, the eyes don't pop as uh, as nicely as they really could, which sucks. Yeah, you have to get the like. I'm putting the light like right up against it. Mm, yeah. 
Um, that it's it's a little unfortunate considering the uh, how well Siege had done light piping up to that point, but oh well. And for comparisons, because uh, <laughs> yeah, we we already kind of know. We'll just put these two off to the side. There we go. So the obvious one here is next to Siege Starscream. Because Hadoi. <laughs> Can't stand the sight of it. <laughs> Too bright. Here he is next to Pipes. To Brawl. Brawl can't stand the sight either, even though he's also a very light green. And what the heck, yesterday's review, the Zagok, who really has trouble standing. The Zagok does not like to stand. But yeah, so that is it for robot mode. Let's get these guys down into uh, vehicle mode. And... Uh, I'm not sure which one to uh, uh you know what we'll give uh we'll give ion storm a uh, a wee bit of loving so let's get down to the business shall we so first thing you're gonna want to do is lift up the chest piece here and pray it doesn't untab on you and then you want to just bring out the entire untab the entire back section here there are and just kind of flip around the open pontoons and then you flip the head want to grab this there's a little panel back here just want to grab it come on you stupid thing there we go you grab this back panel here flip that up i really don't see why we needed the back panel but you know whatever and you just lift everything up, place it back, bring the front of the kind of jet together like so. Want to take the waist and rotate it all the way around and then just close up the feet. And something I didn't mention uh, earlier was just the molding. Um, they did a wonderful job molding in like these, uh, the back shins, like a lot of the molding on this toy, like on these toys is great. <laughs> Um, like e even on the, the wings with the, uh, like they, they managed to make what would be the stability lines on like the, uh, any of the normal wings look like it's actually part of the, um, of the design with the way that they just added some extra molded detail onto the wings, like, which is really nice and something really like forthcoming. Uh, so next, all you're going to want to do is, there we go. So you have the arm here. All you're going to want to do is just essentially grab the fist, grab the, um, the upper arm here or the, uh, the upper elbow, and then rotate the entire arm out, fold in the fist. And then at the double joint here, just going to want to take the arm up and then move it down and then close the arm back up. So you have a nice little brick. And then you just do the same on the other side here, hold it up. <laughs> bring it up rotate like so there we go uh, proper ish lighting now then you want to take the uh, legs here and you want to collapse them in like so and do the same on the other side and just like so make sure everything is tabbed in nice and tight and then you can commence with the basically draping over of the jet. So you just take the arms here, tab them in. There are two tabs right. Uh, there are two, excuse me, tabs right here and two little slots right here. There we go. Sorry. So two tabs here, uh, two slots here. And then you just make sure that they line up and connect them together like so. Do the same on the other side and make sure they line up, connect them together like so. Line up the gun so they're facing the right way. Ooh. 
There we go. And then you just bring down the wings and you connect them into place. Just like so. And then for finishing touches, all you need to do is come around to the back, <clears throat> untab this top piece here from the back, close that in, and then just close up the back of the jet mode if the damn thing will connect. One second, guys. All right, I got it fixed. Yay. So here we have them or him in his Tetrajet mode. And you know what? It's not really going to be the full effect without the other three giant blighty <coughs> brighties. So here we have all three of the Rainmakers in their jet modes. And I got to say, these things look great. I know the the fact that essentially the vehicle mode is just draping on top of the uh, off the body, which is like completely just essentially origamied into just uh, a crouching tiger. I get the the gripes with those. Um, on my part, I just don't care because we're getting Tetra jets that look like the Tetra jet, and let's be honest here, we're never going to get accurate g1 tetra jets in the main line it's never gonna happen not unless there's some ungodly level of engineering in which case it'll either be voyager or commander class just in terms of the bloody part count that's needed to get them into the um the tetra jet mode and there is you can also uh i've transform both nova storm and ion storm with the gun still attached to the shoulders uh here with acid storm i just placed them on the sides of the wings just to show that you know you can do that um i have done the same with star scream as well so you know i have what is that <laughs> what is essentially the most well-known the two most well-known seekers out of these four with the guns uh, tucked under their wings and then the two a little bit more obscure figures going into the um, with the standard uh, on uh, like slung over under slung there we go stupid <laughs> camera or it's stupid light <laughs> uh, sorry about that guys um yeah and as you can see the the paint the paint splotches are the exact same on all four of these guys and it works really well to see on these three like the spots leading up here they're all the same you know not star scream here so they got kind of lazy with the the splotches on the wings and stuff like i mean yeah they look like they've seen some battle they, they definitely seem like they have uh they've seen some shit and i do like how they have kind of essentially give them all a central color scheme with the brown or with the uh, with the gray. There's the gray on the wings, the tip, and on uh, this section here, which is very nice. And it, even though it's a, um, it's not like a, a main color. It's a nice thing to see a small bit of cohesion to let the, you got to let you know these guys are a part of a team even if they are just the randomest colors one can think of they're all a part of a team with just that small bit of gray that's a part of them when they're in robot mode oh hell no all all, uh, all conventions are gone it doesn't matter but in jet mode you can just kind of see with the the gray they could also have just you know be like what color can we use well the grays we got a gray yeah, okay, we'll do that. Um, one thing I will, I do like to mention, um, <laughs> as you can see, the Decepticon logos on uh, Ion, Nova Storm and Acid Storm, you can clearly see them. Nova Storm, you can't, re or sorry, Ion Storm, you can't really, just because the the way that the blue works, yeah, you kind of have to, um, you kind of have to search for it. 
See, it's like right, right there. Right where my disgusting finger is. Right there. And yeah. That, that's really my only gripe with these three is just the fact that, you know, the, the blue that they... <laughs> I would have liked a, a much more vibrant purple for the Decepticon logo on at least Iron Ion Storm just so that he... You can uh, actually see it in, uh, in the jet mode. But with Acid and um, Nova, you, it's still pretty good. And for comparison, here they are with a tank. Here they are with a truck. Here they are with the Zagik. And for the Helvet, I know I didn't show it off in robot mode. Um, here they are with the Ancient Seeker. Because that is just how I do. So yeah. We're just going to move these out of the way. And have them with the Ancient Seeker. Actually, the Ancient Seeker should probably have all the gears down. There we go. And yeah, I, quite honestly, I very much enjoy, like, I really like these guys. And having all six of the Seekers is really, sorry, six out of the nine Seekers is really awesome. Um, six out of the original nine from the cartoon, I should say. Because, and this will be for tomorrow's video, we'll be taking a look at the Earth Mode Seekers. So, Starscream, um, Thundercracker, and Skyvolp. Um, yeah, so we'll be, it, it'll be very nice to see, or to have, like, all six of these guys together. Um, and uh, here's hoping that we get re-releases for the cone heads because having all nine seekers to like to have for your collection is really cool and to have like the uh original g1 seekers um that mainly showed up in the cartoon the cult classic seekers for the Rainmakers, and then the season three season two and three seekers with the cone heads um would be really awesome mainly for me and like for you guys if you guys are really into collecting the seekers you probably already have all of them or have played the crazy amount of prices that scalpers will pay for especially friggin ramjet or um okay well, what's his name uh bird ramjet and thrust especially for thrust because like i checked on amazon a little while ago my god the prices for just the one figure so, uh, here's hoping Hasbro re-releases those guys. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much all I got for these three. Um, they are all really awesome figures. They are very nicely decoed and colored. The molding on all these is great. The price, on the other hand, oh boy, <laughs> because they come in a three-pack and they're all, I think, Voyager or deluxe size? Um, the brain is squishy on that one. I can't quite remember. But, you know, when you're more financially secure and are able to find these guys at a good price, I highly recommend getting them. They just, they pop so nicely on a shelf. Um, And I, I do stress for a good price because, you know... You know how some people do. But yeah. So that would be it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you tomorrow. So have a good day, rest of your day, night, or whenever you watch this. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.